So you want a PlayStation 5, huh? Join the club. All right, what is up, everybody? It's your man, Steady Chaos. Thanks for stopping by Steady Chaos Productions. So, you want a PlayStation 5, you want an Xbox Series X, but primarily, like me, you want a PlayStation 5. You can't find one anywhere. Uh, it's, what, November 15th now? We were a few days into the launch of the PlayStation 5, and supply is, how should we say, um, let's, let's just say it's thin, to put it mildly. It's very, very thin. Uh, there is not a lot of supply out there. There are even stories of some people that have pre-ordered the console and they still haven't even gotten their pre-order and might not get their pre-order for weeks. Some people are having their pre-orders canceled because these vendors just haven't gotten the, the promised amount of supply to satisfy all these various pre-orders. It's a shit show out there. So, if you're like me, you've been going to various websites, you've been refreshing your browser, you're going to Amazon, you're going to Newegg, you're going to B&H Photo, you're going to Best Buy, you're going to where, anywhere you can think of, Walmart, uh, I don't know, I, I'm sure there's a GameStop, um, there, any store, any vendor you can think of, you are constantly refreshing your page, wasting countless hours looking to see if there's stock. You're probably thinking, is there a way uh, that you can find a website that sort of consolidates all of these various stores or vendors into one kind of user-friendly web page that automatically refreshes itself and lets you know that there's stock available? Yes, there is a way. And I'm going to share that website with you right now. Now, I haven't, been, like I said, I haven't been able to find a console myself yet. But I feel as though if I am gonna find one in the next few weeks, it's gonna be because of this website. So I have it bookmarked. So it is nowinstock.net slash video gaming slash consoles slash Sony PS5. So this website, as you can see, it kind of breaks down in sort of user-friendly form all of these various vendors that you can buy a PlayStation 5 from, including the digital version of the console and the disc-based version of the console. You can see the name here. They even have bundles, the uh, bundle of console advanced, GameStop, other bundles, Amazon, B&H Photo, Best Buy, GameStop, PlayStation Direct, which is a hot one, Sam's Club, Target, Walmart, and then they have the same stores for the digital versions. These are the disc-based versions. Um, but you can see here they have the status as of November 15th at 1.24 a.m. Everything is out of stock. Uh, and you have the price here. So if you go to buy an advanced bundle, you can see it's 750 bucks or it's 879. Comes with a couple controllers, maybe a couple of games. Um, and then you see when it was last in stock. So these bundles haven't been in stock since launch day. So they must have been all pre-orders and they're all sold out. But since launch day, there have been some consoles available. So the last time on Amazon they had consoles was November 12th at 6.06 p.m. In PlayStation Direct, November 13th at 5.55 p.m. November 12th, November 12th. Okay, so it's been a while. Um, to, like I said, today's the 15th. So there really hasn't been much stock the last couple days. Maybe that'll change once we get into Monday, Tuesday of next week. But the good thing is, is... This website has what's called an in-stock alarm. So you see I have it on right now. So you can just leave this web page open in the background and the page will automatically notify you if something becomes in stock. It'll, if so, if something is in stock, then this little tab or section right here will turn green. It'll say in stock and then it'll tell you when it became in stock. And then you can click on the link and it'll bring you right there. Uh, the good thing also is, so if you want to, let's just, just test the alarm real quick. So test. So you hear that. So if you just keep the web page open in the background at all times and you just use other tabs when you're surfing the net, check on your email, going to your favorite websites, whatever. If you just keep this nowinstock.net open in the background and you turn your in-stock alarm on, you know, you got to make sure you turn it on because by default it's off. Turn it on and then when something comes in stock, it'll notify you. You do not have to manually refresh the page. The page automatically refreshes every 60 seconds. So look, tracker auto updates every minute. And you'll see right here in the right where it says browser alerts, there'll be a little uh, like logo that'll flash, that'll indicate that the web, here it is right there. See? It's a little loading logo. Every 60 seconds you see that indicates that the web page has basically refreshed itself. So needless to say, when anything comes in stock, 
If you have the stock alarm set, the page will automatically let you know. Hell, you can if you have your computer in your bedroom and you have some speakers, turn up the speakers and if something comes in stock one night at 11 p.m. or 12 a.m. or 1 a.m., then your computer can sound the alarm, wake you up, maybe you can get lucky and order one. Um, short of that, you know, a lot of people are just simply going to Amazon manually and they're refreshing the page manually. That requires so much time. It's so labor intensive. They're going, they're typing in Best Buy and they're, they're manually refreshing the page. You know, it's just, this is so much easier and so much more user friendly. Um, and it saves you time. That's the big thing. Of course, now, if you are desperate, okay, I mean, this stock situation is going to be bad. It's going to be bad for the next several weeks. It's probably going to be bad for the next few months. It's probably going to not be until early to mid-2021 that stock for PlayStation 5s becomes readily and widely available. Um, that's not to say that you're definitely not going to get a PlayStation 5 until June or July of next year. No, I think that once January, February, March rolls around, they will be more readily available. It still might be a little tight, but it won't be as difficult to get one as it is now. And of course, if you have a lot of money, if money is no object to you, then you can always go to eBay. As you can see here, stock is available. Stock's always available on eBay because you have these effing scalpers who are price gouging the absolute crap out of these poor consumers. So what I usually do is I, I'm not going to get into some sort of bidding war with these meatheads on eBay. I'm not going to 1200 13 14 15 $1,600, sometimes more, like $2,500. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at the buy it now section, all right, so I can avoid any kind of bidding war. So you go to buy it now, and let's just take a look at some of the prices, okay? Sony PlayStation 5 console disc version, $2,000. I mean, this is... This shit really should be illegal. I know a lot of people say, well, why should it be illegal? If these morons want to pay that price, then they're idiots. Yes, they're idiots, but it's it's just it's so, it's, it's abusing the consumer because what happens is these scalpers, they have these bots. And whenever there is stock available, like on this page I just showed you, now in stock.net, it sounds the alarm, it says now in stock, and they have these bots programmed to immediately swoop right in automatically and scoop up and buy any available supply of PlayStation 5. So that basically leaves you and I, honest consumers, with no option but to go to eBay and have to you know, pay $2,000, which is like a five times markup of the original $400 price. It's just, it's not fair, it's, it's a disgusting practice, but it is what it is, right? I mean, look, 2,000 bucks, 12 sold already. <laughs> 12 people have already paid $2,000 for a PlayStation 5. This guy has made $24,000 in the last couple days off of $2,000 PlayStation 5s. And he still has a couple left. Um, then you have one here. This one's not... I mean, it's unreasonably priced, but it's only 1,000 bucks with $30 for shipping. You know, but keep in mind that this is, oh, well, it is a disc-based model. That's kind of surprising it's even that cheap. 945 this is for the digital version. It's just crazy. 2000 bucks here. Look, eight sold already. Look at this guy. $1,500 already sold 20 consoles. 20 people have already paid $1,500. So, like I say, uh, it really sucks that the, and this is the same story for the Xbox Series X and the RTX cards for the most part, and it's probably gonna be the same story when the big Navi GPUs launch. The pandemic has a lot of people working from home, has a lot of people staying home, has a lot of, you know, high school kids that are, are doing remote education, so they're home a lot of the day, they, they're gaming. People are resorting to gaming. It's a solitary activity you can do by yourself. There's no risk of transmission if you're just sitting there playing games, right? So that's what people are doing. That's why all of these consoles are flying off the shelves. That's why GPUs are flying off the shelves. So anyway, if you do not wanna pay these exorbitant prices, even if you have the money, but just you're taking a principled stand like, I am. I have the money to spend on, you know, I can spend $1,000 plus 30 shipping on a PlayStation 5 console and I could have it, you know, in days if I wanted to, but it's just the principle of the matter. I do not want to give these people money, but the fact that I want to give them money really doesn't matter because you can see everyone else is already doing it. 12 sold consoles already, so I don't even know why I'm bothering to take a principled stand. But I just don't want to give in and give these scalpers all this money because it's just going to encourage them in the future. And I really feel like eBay, Amazon, they should do something about this. It's just it's not fair to the honest consumer. Um, but it is what it is. So it, if you're like me, you don't want to pay these eBay scalpers. And your best bet, again, is to go to nowinstock.net. 
Just make sure that you set the stock alarm to on so that when something comes in, in supply or in stock that you can hear the audible alarm. You can rush to your computer as fast as you can and try to put an order through. Um, good luck to you. Hopefully it works for you. Hopefully it works for me. Later, guys.